November the 13th, 2017, 8.43 p.m. EST. On October the 9th, 1957, Drive. Ewan Cameron, a Scottish-born psychiatrist and director of the Allen Memorial Institute at McGill University in Montreal noted that his 33-year-old patient, Jean Steele, was on her 23rd day of drug-induced sleep. Steele had undergone four electroconvulsive shock therapy treatments. Several more were planned. In previous days, while awake, she had shown some aggressiveness toward staff, behavior Cameron felt needed to be broken up. He wondered whether it might be useful for her to watch a movie where hostility was well expressed, as a way of working out her own hostilities. A librarian was tasked with finding something suitable. She had not been weighed in several weeks. Temperature recordings were taken of her earlobes and feet. Once the patient is depatterned we will start psychic driving, Cameron wrote. She is rather restive and antagonistic when awake, but not nearly as difficult as she was when she started. Garnet Steele met Jean Watts in Montreal in the 1940s. He was in the army she liked to dance. He called her Jeannie. They fell in love, married, honeymooned in New York City and settled in the eastern townships south of Montreal. They played bridge, curled and had loads of friends. The couple had a child who died a few months after birth, but in 1952 they had another, a daughter named Allison. She was healthy and gorgeous, but Jeannie found she couldn't cope. She sank into a sadness that wouldn't lift. Her parents back in Montreal began asking around. They heard about this drive. Cameron at the Allen, a past president of the American Psychiatric Association. They heard he was the best. Jeannie Steele was admitted to the Army for treatment on May 1, 1957. What they did to my mother was torture, Alison Steele, now 65, says from Nalton, Q. It is horrific it is unbelievable. What wasn't publicly known in 1957, and what would not be revealed until decades later, was that Cameron's work at AMI was funded in part by the Central Intelligence Agency as part of Project MKUltra, a covert program in human mind control brainwashing. Panic seized the United States at the conclusion of the Korean War in 1953. Some in Congress feared returning American POWs had been brainwashed by their Chinese captors, transforming patriotic GIs into zombie sleeper agents, waiting to be activated by their communist masters. Newspaper stories fanned the hysteria. The totalitarians have misused the knowledge of how the mind works for their own purposes, a Dutch psychologist wrote in the New York Times magazine. They have applied the Pavlovian technique in a far more complex and subtle way, of course to produce the reflex of mental and political submission of the humans in their power. What they did to my mother was torture. It is horrific it is unbelievable. Cameron, the visionary, believed schizophrenia and some other mental illnesses could be cured. Jeannie Steele likely suffered from postpartum depression. He dismissed the idea of a psychiatrist's couch, a doctor listening and talking a patient back to health. His ambition was to remake the person entirely, scrubbing their brain of its illness and rebuilding their psyche from scratch.